He knows full well that protecting the middle of the ice against the St. Louis Blues is critical. It is top line against top line. O'Reilly, Saad, and Cairo. Blues come in quickly. Now a pass back. And Joshua gets it. Here we and go. Now Kyra's off to the races. He's in the clear. Kyra to the net. And it goes off the pad of Nedeljkovic and over the goal. What a chance there for Kyra. Nedeljkovic, who, as you mentioned, was so brilliant, including that great glove save on Scandel. Blues at the line. Pavel Buchnevic across. Brunovic, the shot. Rebound. Oh, Barbershev had an open net, but it bounced on him. Now in front for Butch Davich. Tarasenko to Barbershev in on goal, a shot! And that goes high, maybe off the arm of Nedeljkovic. Not sure, Darren, but that was a glorious chance. On a nice cycling motion, constant movement, and look who's right in the slot. Poor coverage by the Detroit Red. I think he did. Now Prego back for the Blues. Comes in front, Lindgren got over, made that save as that was tipped off Prego's stick. And that was Robbie Fabry in front. The former blue with the chance. Former 21st overall pick. That's a positive tire service storyline right there. No score here. Now the Blues get it in front. Shot. They score! Walker! His first game up. And the Aussie has given the Blues a 1-0 lead. And from the Blues zone. Robert Bortuzzo, Walker just slams it in, takes a hit from Smith, and good work by Braden Shen, who takes a hit to make the play and gets it out there. Dakota Joshua, number 55, is going to the front of the net. Might have glanced off the skate of the defenseman to Kaiser. Robbie Fabry, an unrestricted free agent. I think one of eight on this roster for the Detroit Red Wings at the end of the year. And from the faceoff, a shot by Butch Davidson is saved by Nedeljkovic, and he covers that rebound. Power play, there was a shot that went off the left pad, and it was Sunquist that was right in the middle of the ice. This is a quick shot by Butch Davidson, which is a good one, and then the rebound, kind of a little slingshot right there, because the puck was on end. And the one thing that... Good stick there by Mikola. And now off the near glass, and O'Reilly. Nice pass. That brings Mikola. Drops it to Walker. He comes in, shoots, and he scores! He has done it again! Walker's second! Holy jumping! Pareko plays it off the boards. Ryan O'Reilly with a pull-up finds the late trailing Mikola, and he just drops it back, and this is an innocent looking shot as you will find but again good instincts by walker takes once by some time gets it a little closer no gap closure by cider and he beats the goaltender nadelkovic the goaltender that the blues could beat to save their life now for zadina worked over by scandela and joe valeno in front shot is up high off the crossbar and now it's letty at the line and this is great news for the Blues and Cairo. I mean, it really looked like he was seriously hurt in that first period, leaving the, the ice and the bench for about six minutes. Yeah, did it ever. Could barely get off. Now the wings bank it off the wall. Fabry shoots, and he scores! Robbie Fabry! The former Blue, and it's 2-1. to one. What a shot! Well, that's one thing that Robbie Fabry has always had in his arsenal, that quick wrist shot in hands and hockey sense, and boy! But Mo Sider plays it up the boards. And, and Raymond plays it actually off the skate blade of the Blues player, but Sider brings it back up again. Oh, yeah, here's that dump into the far corner. Oh, and what a play by Raymond. I couldn't see that from my angle right here. The soft mitt. So Mikola thinks that Raymond's going to continue on with it. And then Mestikoff right back into the blue zone. And a drop pass. Letty shooting one up high. Save, rebound, another shot by Valeno, and kept out by Lindgren, and the Blues fire it down the ice. Back on page right here. And this good save here by Lindgren. He comes out now, he challenged that one by Letty, and now there's a bouncing puck right there. Looked like a lacrosse ball, but he stays with that one again. Trying to go to Shen. Now Scandella goes off, the Red Wings trying to capitalize on that change. Larkin, a shot up high off the stick of Lindgren. On a high drive by Larkin. And again, the Blues maintain control of the offensive zone centered. Shot on goal by Terrace.
Lysenko and a save by Nedeljkovic. Kept in again. Waiting. Fires a tip just wide. And now Joshua on the wing for Pareko. Leaves it for Bucinavich. Good pass back. Mikola winds up. Shot. Rebound. They score! Tipped in by Pareko. It's 3-1. little reluctant to do so, but it ends up on the good side after a heavy shot from Mikola. The rebound comes out. Joshua's on the doorstep, but it's Colton Pareko on the left side of your screen. He comes in right there with the big reach and the right-handed blade, and he pokes it past the glove of the goaltender, Nel Nedeljkovic. After not skating for 10 days. And he's got to be in good shape taking care of the kids at home. <laughs> exactly. Here's a shot <laughs> saved by Lindgren with his right pass. And now Rasmussen again. Waiting. Fires a good save again by Lindgren. Another shot by Rasmussen wide of the goal. Blues coming down trying to help out their goaltender. This shot on goal comes in. The Blues have killed the last nine against them. Now Larkin with it. Coming in. Shooting one up high off the shoulder of Mask. No, oh, Lindgren, and that goes out of play. Boy, they sure are trying to pick. Our Suntra big save, and why wouldn't it be? With speed, Larkin has started in his own zone. And that was in Montreal. Now in front of backhander on goal by Gagne to save by Lindgren. That's quite a place to get your 500th win. In the third, Lindgren has been great tonight in goal for the Blues. Tipped on by Saad. Now to Barbershev. Down the far wing. Looking for some late help. He finds Saad. The Cairo shot right on goal. Saved by Grice. And Cairo's had at least three great chances tonight. Just kind of followed through on a little bit of a sweeper right here. Trying to catch the goal. And then to Walker. Trying to center one. Now for Shen on the wing. Good pass back. Scandella for Krug. Fires it. And he scores! Was it tipped by Walker? It might have been. He was there. And it could be the hat trick. We'll see. How do you like that? On recall. Because of COVID. He gets to the middle of the ice on the backhand. Great hand-eye coordination there. Terrific play by Scandella to Krug. One quick shot. Backside of the blade. Clearly redirects it. And his third goal and first hat trick in the National Hockey League. Well, that is a thing of beauty there. <laughs> and playing a better league, obviously, with more opportunity. I mean, that's passion. That's loving something. That's going after it. Now Barbashev on the wing. Here comes Krug. He walks into the net. Tip. And they score! Barbershev to Krug and, and Krug just fires it towards the net and no one knows at that point whether it's in or not. Smart play by Tori Krug. Barbershev gets the stick on it and does he push the pad at all? No he does not. It just floats up into the air and gets beyond the goaltender Thomas Grice right there. Heads up play started by Barbershev. Great puck possession by the Blues. Back to Scandella. And then now back to the net. It's Corona there. And the Red Wings finally get it. Long pass to Fabry. He's in the clear. Fabry coming in. And he scores. And Fabry has scored another one against his former club. That's three this year. That's a pretty darn good move right there with pressure on him from behind. And Robbie Fabry, he knows they're down by three goals here late in the game. Stretch pass catches the Blues by surprise if they have extended time in the offensive zone. But Fabry lurks in the weeds right here, and he's in all alone. Forehand, great play right here. Slides it. And now Shen trying to hit Walker. Kept in off the crossbar. I think Sider hit the crossbar, and the Blues throw it down the ice into the net. Scandella with a 200 footer. And it's 6 to 2. The shot by Heronik off the crossbar. And 
a high hoister by Scandella into the empty net, but make no mistake. So the goal by Scandella at 19.54 is first of the year. And that will wrap it up. And the Blues have now won six straight.